All right, so here, uh, another example. We're going to find an angle given the value of a trig function. And uh, in this case, suppose we know the tangent of theta equals 1. And if theta is, again, an acute angle in a right triangle, we want to figure out what that angle theta is equal to. So again, I'm going to put theta right down there. So remember, tangent of theta, that's the opposite, the, the, uh, the ratio of the length of the opposite side to the ratio of the length of the adjacent side. So the opposite side here, um, you know, you can think about, uh, since we know tangent theta equals 1, we can just write that as 1 over 1. So I'm simply going to make the opposite side have length 1 and the adjacent side also have length 1. But at this point, we really actually have enough information already to, to figure out theta. Okay, so the idea is if, uh, you know, if this is, let's maybe think about degrees, if this is theta degrees, um, so opposite the side theta degrees, it has length 1, well, that means since this side has length 1, that means this angle up here would also have to be equal to theta. Well, if we take theta plus theta, well, we know that this other angle, by default, that has to equal 90 degrees. And we know if we add up all the angles inside of a triangle, that equals 180 degrees. Well, 1 theta plus 1 theta is going to give us 2 theta. We can also just simply uh, subtract 90 degrees from both sides. So if we subtract 90 degrees, we'll get 2 theta equals 90 degrees. And now if we simply divide both sides by 2, we'll get that theta equals 45 degrees.